That's your trouble. You never think before you act. Come on, Mick. Face it. You're not as young as you used to be. I just saved your life. How about a little gratitude? Would you two just kiss and make up? Now, on High Tide. A cop was killed. He was drunk, he fell out of the boat, and he drowned. Do you have any idea how many policemen that can buy? What are you doing here? I think you should both come with me. <laughs> It's okay, I don't need any help. We can't possibly be related. Pretty day, isn't it? Numbers. I would have had him if you didn't slow me down. Hey, we would have had him if you'd listened to me and not just taken off. See, that's your trouble. You never think before you act. Well, at least I act. Come on, Mick, face it. You're not as young as you used to be. And maybe, just maybe, you're starting to slow me down. Oh, please. You couldn't handle yourself for two minutes out there without me. Oh, is that so? Look, I spent half my life bailing you out of trouble, and the other half bailing myself out of the trouble you get me in. Well, if that's the way you feel, then maybe we should find out. What are you talking about? A test. Just to see who needs who around here. You are on your own, pal. Thinking back, I should have calmed things down and let him make his point. But when Joey sets his mind to something, it's set. And this time, it was set on proving I was obsolete. Can't really find it there or what? Can't really keep him off my line. How'd you guys do? Well, it looks like you did way better than me. That is demasiado, amigo. Where's Mick? You know, you were supposed to do the books today. That was the deal. The deal? What deal? Oh, that deal! <laughs> Your brother's out front. Thanks, Annie. Oh, mm -hmm. you won? You owe me a lot more than one, Joey. Hey, Mick. You're in my son. 
Really? Sounds not so good for somebody your, uh, your age. My age? What do you mean, my age? Past your prime. Not past my prime. This. This is prime. And you're... You're past this. Sam, check those plates. I thought we weren't exchanging information. Oh, we're not. We're not. I was just, uh, just making conversation. Well, you know, maybe I heard something. Then again, maybe I didn't. All right. I can play that game, too, you know. Just watch me. Surfing buddies. Surfing buddies? How come every time there's trouble somewhere, I always run into you two? Just lucky, I guess. Remind the baby bear here that you've retired from the cop business, huh? All right, people, let's do our job. If you're here, it's got to mean someone's in trouble. Oh, hey, Sam. And it's probably me. Actually, I wanted to know if you heard anything more on those license plates yet. Sure, he told your brother. The plates were stolen. Can't really help us. Too bad you let him get away. Don't believe everything my brother tells you. I never do. Hey, uh, any more news on that kid that washed up on the beach this morning? Not much, just that the report said he was drunk and he probably fell overboard. Why, did you know him? Yeah, yeah. he was drunk? Yeah, that's what the report said. Line Did they find anything there. on his boat? Uh, they didn't find his boat. Detective Harold. Sure. That might be a problem. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Joy. How you been? Managing you? Up and down, like always. Kid from the beach? Yeah. He was so young, it's really sad. So you see me one these days, Joey? Huh? Uh, um, you? Oh, please tell me you didn't go down to the station. I didn't go down to the station. You did, didn't you? I can tell from your eyes. Okay, so I did. So why'd you tell me you didn't? Because you told me to say I didn't. Would you two just kiss and make up? Oh, we got no problem, Annie. Do we, Mix? None at all. Helps reduce the effects of aging. It's just suntan lotion. They're out of my usual stuff. Sure. Where are you going? 
Wouldn't you like to know? Joey, what did you find out? Hi, Ty. Oh, hey, Sam. Listen, Mick, this may not mean anything, but I think it's a good idea if we kept Joey away from us. Yeah, but I don't understand. Why would Boomer get upset because you looked over his report? I have no idea. All it said was that there was a high level of alcohol in the kid's system and that there was enough water in his lungs to drown him. Other than that, there was no bruises, nothing. But Boomer was pissed. I think that we should keep Joey away from us until I figure out what's going on. I'll try. You know my brother. <sighs> that I do. That's why I'm asking you. I figured I'd enjoy a little surfing while Joey spent the day playing detective, asking questions about Billy. You look lost. Actually, I'm trying to find out some information about a friend of mine. Did you hear anything about the kid that washed up on the beach? Sure. Billy? His boat washed up here on the docks. You didn't happen to find any alcohol in the boat, did you? Beer cans, stuff like that? No, just what's there. How do you figure it wound up in here? Through the channel. The current would have picked her up and brought her into the marina. Did you phone the sheriff's department? I did, right after I found it. And then a detective came by. Oh, do you remember the name of the detective? What was his name? Let's see now. Funny name. Boomster. Yes, that's it. Definitely Boomster. Right. Uh, did he have anyone with him? No, he was alone. OK. That's him. He's the one that was asking all the questions on the beach. What does he know? I can't afford to take any chances. Yes. Wonderful day. Say, you wouldn't want to go sailing, would you? I just happen to be giving away free lessons today. simple question. What do I pay you for? If you got a problem, Victor, spit it out. Someone's been asking questions about that dead kid on the beach. There's nothing to worry about. How come I don't feel that way? Why don't you tell me why I shouldn't be worried? Because there's nothing to find. It's all done. Is that for me? I'm not a street punk, Lieutenant. No one ever said you were, Victor. No one ever said you were. That was really fun, Joey. Thanks. Hey, no problems. My pleasure. I like to spend as much time as I can out on the open sea. You know how it is. Sea, men. When you're not catching bad guys. Look, 
what I told you. I told you in the strictest of confidence. Now, you've got to promise not to tell anyone. I promise. Hey, pal, I see you've been busy. It's the brother I told you about. He doesn't look so old. I'm not old. Can I see you for a minute, please? Whatever you have to say, you can say in front of Alex. She's a friend. Sorry. Pardon us. I had an interesting conversation with Sam. She asked me to personally get you to lay off this thing with Billy. What are you talking about, man? I'm this close to cracking this thing. Cracking what? I don't know. That's why I can't back down now. Look, he was drunk, he fell out of the boat, and he drowned. Look, Billy Barnes was one year sober. Everybody knew that. They found his one year sober chip. Did you steal that from the station? Look, did Sam tell you that they didn't find his boat? We didn't discuss it. What if I told you that Boomer found Billy's boat and kept it to himself? Hmm? There was probably nothing on it. That's right, absolutely nothing. No booze, no beer cans, nothing. Sam has his under control. Let her handle it. Is something wrong? No, no, nothing. It's OK. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to drag him away from you. How old did you say I was? Ain't you? Drop this. Let it go. Oh, that's right. We're on our own now. So you do whatever you want, and uh, you know where I'll be. This is a really great restaurant. Isn't it? I come here a lot. Oh, really? You mean with other guys or with your family, that sort of thing? <laughs> A little of both. Oh. Your detective business sounds so exciting. Oh, it is. But it's not really a detective business, so to speak. Let's see. When people get in trouble and uh, the police can't seem to help them, uh, well, I, I do what I can. Mm, sounds dangerous. Oh, it is. It is. One time, my brother and I... Your brother works with you? Well, not really with me. More like for me. Oh, yeah, I see. He's had a pretty uh, rough life, and uh, he hasn't really found his center, you know. So now and then, I like to throw him a bone when I can. A couple of bucks here and there. Like the case I'm working on now. Oh. But, but that's uh, it's all very hush-hush. Oh. Well, I... I guess I could tell you, right? think it's just a routine drowning. Mm, but you don't? It's all way too clean. There may even be some cops involved. Really? We have this idea. There's this guy, Lieutenant Boomer. I'm gonna love nailing him. Joey, I'm ready to get out of here. Check, <clears throat> check please.
this looks very bad. going for the death penalty. You having fun? I'll send you some cigarettes. I don't smoke. Well, you're gonna need them to trade with your fellow cons. There's stuff you're gonna want. A tattoo, concealed weapon, a wedding dress. Actually, I hear it's not so bad. You get free country and western concerts, and uh, there's a nice set of barbells at your disposal. You better hope they give me the death penalty. Threats now. See? Everything they say about the justice system is true. You people don't get rehabilitated. You just get more violent once you're inside. I'm not violent! Could have fooled me. Whoever killed Boomer knocked your brother out, left a trail of blood. We found some on the path and out by the car. How do you know Mick didn't leave it? Joey, don't help me. We didn't find any on his shoes, and the paraffin test came back naked. Mick hadn't fired a gun. Well, maybe he washed his hands really well. Shut up! Is this what you two call staying out of it? A cop was killed. And if that doesn't tell you how dangerous what you're doing is, then maybe this will. Have you ever heard of Victor Marotti? Drug smuggler. He was acquitted, right? Yeah, well, he could afford the lawyers. Seems he docked in our marina a few days ago, and since then, we have a suspicious death and a cop murdered. Let's go bust him. We don't even know if he's done anything yet. Well, he's a smuggler. He's got a boat. Well, what do you need? Evidence. Now, I'm telling you, he's dangerous. And you, you remember, the only reason why you're out is because I got you out, and you're out of favors. <sighs> now, either one of you two interfere again, I will lock you both up. Got it? I want to hear it. You got it. OK. I hope so. Hey, what about the money in the briefcase? Well, if it was really there, you were the only one that saw it. Okay. What money? Mick, what money? Baby Boomer's being paid to keep his mouth shut. I thought we were going to drop this. But he was being greedy, so Marathi had to take him out of the loop all together. We don't even know if Marathi's doing anything. The thing I can't figure out is, how does he bring the drugs in if he's just docked there at the marina? You stop. What do you need, a written confession? And for that matter, how does he distribute them? Just drop it. That's right. You old ex-cons need your rest. Where are you going? Out. You always gotta watch your back, bro. I knew you were there. <sighs> sure you did. What are you doing here? That is Marathi's boat. It just sits there all day. The boat stays docked. Somehow he manages to get the drugs in and out. How he does it, I have no idea. Hey, check this out.
right under everyone's nose. Nobody even realizes. I bet you Billy did. Yeah, and he died because he saw how the operation was run. How does Moretti distribute the drugs? You said Boomer had a briefcase full of money, right? I'll bribe money. Who else but a cop would know the best way to distribute drugs on the street? I bet you that's why Boomer kept Billy's boat out of his report. <laughs> what, are we working together again? Hey, what are you doing here anyway? This is my lead. You can't own the lead, Joey. All right, you can stay. But don't crowd me, okay? I worked to do. Don't go near that boat. on that case I was telling you about. You don't know how close she came to stumbling into something really serious. Joey. I think you should both come with me. Oh, that's OK. I've got another engagement. We'll have to make it another time, really. If you insist. OK. All right. isn't the hero. Yep, that's right. That's me, the hero. And, oh, look, it's you, the bad guy. Victor, right? What do you want with me? You're not a cop. Billy Barnes was a friend of mine. You kill him. I kill a lot of people. What do you want? Well, let's see. My brother always says that I, that I act before I think, and I always just jump on into whatever my little old heart tells me to, and, well, I guess he's right. Yeah? So what does your heart tell you? That you're a dirt bag and I should take you down. <laughs> <laughs> Never mess with another man's livelihood, no matter what your heart says. You're never gonna get away with this. Go ahead and laugh. Eventually, somebody's going to nail you. Do you have any idea how many policemen that can buy? Not everybody's for sale. Of course they are. Hey, you leave her out of this. Alex, take him below. Go ahead, take me down below. Idiots should go down below. Everyone is for sale. Victor, what are you going to do with him? Don't worry your pretty little face about it. Victor, he's harmless. What is it with you two? He is going to die. I got you the information you wanted. 
You don't have to kill him. Maybe not. But you just can't be too careful about these things. Victor, you're hurting me. Why can't you let us go? Us? I'm sorry. He didn't have to send you in here. I already told you everything I know. He didn't send me in here. <sighs> right. Joey, I've never had a choice. What happened to your face? Yes? Get the men ready. We're leaving ahead of schedule. did when I met him. I swear, by the time I learned what he was really like, it was too late. I just didn't know, Joe, you've got to believe me. I do. Cigarette. I'm gonna get you out of here, I promise. <laughs> oh. oh man, I'm in trouble. Not intentionally. You knocked me out. Well, you can't just go barging in on people like that. Oh, should I have knocked first? I'm here to rescue you. Well, we didn't need your help. We were doing just fine on our own. You sure looked like you need my help. What are you talking about? I was just about to bust us out of here. I'm not going anywhere until you admit that I could have broken out of here myself. We can't possibly be related. I'm still on board. Then what are you doing here? Why don't you go down below and check it out? Joey, come on! You don't know him, Alex. I'm never gonna hear the end of this. Now, I'm not going anywhere until you admit I was doing just fine without you. This is ridiculous! Well, fine. Then you escape your way, and I'll escape my way. This is our chance. See, what would you do if I wasn't here? Oh, man, there. God, you just hit him with your head. I just saved your life. How about a little gratitude? I set you up. Can we go now, please? Oh, don't tell me you're not going to admit that. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Do we have a plan? Well, what is it? The first part was to rescue you. And the second part? We're still working on that. Oh, how are we going to get out of here without them seeing us? We created a diversion. Yes. Okay, first chance you get, you take Alex 
and you make the lead for it. All right, I'll create a diversion. Wait, wait, wait. What are you calling? Look, I got us into this. Now give me a chance to get us out. See ya. Check it out. If you find somebody down there, tell them! You're just lucky dude. All right, what can I mess with next? You shouldn't have come for your brother. At least one of you might have lived. What can I say? Little regrets going on me. with a man's family. Can I square knot? Close enough. You called for backup? I bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? We'll be right back. Nothing to be 
afraid of with your testimony and Mick and Joey's, Victor Moratti's drug trafficking days are over. Well, I guess you get your second chance, huh, Alex? I don't know how to thank you both. Uh, you just testified. There'll be thanks in them. You're going to save a lot of people a lot of pain. Thank you. That works. Hey, um... I, I... And thank you, little brother. Little brother? <laughs> you know, I think she kind of likes me. Oh, come on. You're old enough to be her father. I'm not old enough to be her father. Well, it wasn't you she kissed on the lips. You didn't hear what she whispered to me. What? She whispered something to you? You're full of it. Man, I sure hope you learned something from all of this. Yeah, I guess two heads are better than one. I don't believe it. It's him! You take the alley, I'll make... Come on, we're gonna lose him! Go away! In the end, I think we both learned something. Maybe sometimes I am too cautious. And maybe Joey will often leap before he looks. But that's why we work so well together, and why we wouldn't have it any other way. Next, on High Tide. You killed her. It's so romantic. A beautiful mermaid washes up on the beach, and Joey comes to her rescue. We've got a problem. She doesn't remember anything. Well, I'd ask you out, except I wouldn't know who I was asking. For some strange reason, we have this connection, you know? I think she might be the one. Stay tuned for TV2 Eyewitness News, here on Channel 38.